Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you guys a thrift haul. This is going to be 50 items that I sourced over the last couple of weeks from my local favorite thrift store here in Houston. It is called the Family Thrift Center Outlet and every Thursday they put out all new merchandise in the store and everything is a flat cost of $2.25 whether it's shoes, accessories, clothing and so I'm there every Thursday pretty much at 7 a.m. to rack up on the steals. So yeah we have around 50 items here I have a few bras and accessories to start off with one purse and then the rest will be clothing so let's go ahead and get into it starting off with this really pretty bra by the brand Simone um, this is the last name I could just tell that it was really good quality when I first saw it the lace was really intricate and delicate and I believe this retails for over a hundred dollars so super excited to find this for a couple dollars um, it looks brand new it's a size 34 C I want to say yes 34 C so I'm not sure what I'm expecting to make back from this but I'll probably list it around $50, I would guess, off the top of my head. The next one I actually found right next to it, so I think it was the same person. This one also looks pretty much brand new. It's really pretty, a sheer lace, and this is by the brand Wacol. So I'll probably list this one, probably 25, maybe 35-ish. It is a really nice kind of style. Next we have a Gymshark Leopard print bra with a little crossover action maybe 20 25 ish on this it looks like an extra small yes it is extra small and lastly for bras is this torrid active sports bra in a size one which converts to one x in torrid this is their active wear logo it's like a flaming heart and i would highly suggest you guys not underestimate torrid bras, sports bras, swimwear. It all sells really well. I have sold, I think a it was a swimwear top from Torrid for around $35. So it is really good quality stuff that people are on the hunt for. Next we have this hobo style bag from Lucky Brand. Really cute, very boho. It has the leather little tassel pool and then some studding on the strap really good quality lucky brand is you know definitely a reputable brand this does have just a couple minor flaws like maybe watermarks but you know for like I said a couple dollars um, I couldn't leave that it'll for sure sell 25 30 ish okay getting into clothing now we are starting off with one of my favorite bread and butter brands. This is Free People. More specifically, this is Free People Beach, which is just a different line within their brand. This line, I have to say, does sell a little bit better for me than just the main tag. Um, it's like a lot of slouchy kind of basics that are beachy, if you could have guessed that. And this has kind of like a contrast trim I have sold that top probably six times in the past it usually sells 28 ish to 35 ish next a 100% linen tank top a nice neutral color I will add a ton of keywords into this like minimalist contemporary sustainable lag and look the brand really did not matter to me I think it says GG Moda made in Italy and just a nice little closet staple. This is loft outlet in a size extra large. So this had quite a bit going for it. It is um, a loungewear style item, which right off the bat sells very well for me. Loungewear is probably one of my fastest selling categories. It's also a size extra large, and it is made of the Signature Soft fabric, which is 96% rayon, 4% spandex. So that is a keyword that I put in the listing, in the title and listing, Signature Soft. It's all one word. 
I also really like the draping. It's like, a, you know, you can lounge around in it, but it has a little bit of flair to it, so you could wear it out. Next up, we have wearables. This is a line within the XCVI brand, which that brand sells very well. It uh, It's kind of an artsy, almost like lag and look style brand. And this is just like an offshoot of that. So it has a linen body in front with a v-neck high low hemline and then like a slub cotton back and then linen again for the bottom half of the shirt with these really pretty oversized mother of pearl buttons so kind of a lot happening here again i'll add in a lot of keywords like artsy and because it is linen i will add in lag and look i have tags just written out in my notes section on my laptop and so whenever I have a top like this that has a lot of tags that I can put I just copy and paste all the tags into this listing it's like beachy boho contemporary minimalist lag and look and I just copy and paste them every time into each listing that the tags apply for okay next up I hadn't heard of this brand April Marin I was first drawn to it mostly because of the material it felt very high quality and also this cut the kind of dolman boxy cut with bat wing sleeves um, has always been very popular especially in the winter time it's also kind of poncho-esque it's 65 percent merino wool 30 percent nylon and five percent alpaca so that was a great fabric makeup i went ahead and bought it i didn't check comps in store but then when i got home i saw that it looks like this was maybe sold at anthropology at one time and it has sold really well in the past i saw some sold comps for like 60 to 90 dollars i'll probably expect around 40 to 50 graphic t-shirt long sleeve with a tie-dye print really cute uh, music band artist graphics always fly out of my closet so I'm sure this will sell super fast it's also in excellent condition and a size large we have a jumpsuit from cloth and stone size medium I have been trying to stick to only getting pieces from cloth and stone that are super uh, substantial and this I would say is it's a leopard print it has a crossover front tie waist and then it's a wide leg jumpsuit so this has quite a bit going for it the waist tie makes it flattering it's all it also has elastic at the waist and it does crossover and back as well it's that really nice kind of drapey tinsel lyocell fabric in a size medium next we have a really pretty sweater from anthropology their moth sub brand it's an ombre sweater i just really like the color and again this also kind of has that dolman style sleeve definitely has a drop shoulder which makes it more of a casual vibe it's acrylic and polyamide it feels almost like linen but it's not that's a really nice kind of transitional weather sweater because it's like a medium knit um, but you know it would still keep you cozy free people size small this is super cute very oversized sweater striped print again with that casual drop shoulder and kind of an exposed seam there very slouchy you could wear this like off one shoulder it's crazy it's a size small and it is cotton and polyester I think this is a newer piece from free people I say that because you look at the tag and it just looks newer it also has the OB number and all of the font is just really like not faded the tag looks very new so that's just kind of how I tell with that next up we have more torrid this is a boyfriend blazer 
a great wardrobe staple. You could wear this a lot of ways, wear it to the office or wear it with some black skinny jeans and tall boots. That is a size 2X. This was definitely one of my favorite finds. It's by the brand CP Shades, which is a for sure bolo. It's kind of hard to read. It's usually the same color font on the tag. But this brand is so expensive. This dress was, I'm probably $250 would be my guess. It's 100% linen and it has a patchwork print to it. The closures in front are like hook and eye closures. So it's almost like a corset kind of closure, but it's not tight at all. It's loose fitting. It does have pockets and then the back is a solid gray with the plaid trim at the bottom hem. So pretty. Again, I added a ton of keywords into this. It has already sold, I believe, for around $85. And yeah, I added lag and look, contemporary, everything I was mentioning just a little bit ago. This was another brand I was unfamiliar with. It's called Raw Earth Wild Sky. I originally kind of stopped and looked closer at it because the tag was tacked on on both sides which is sometimes a sign of quality it also had los angeles on it and you know when something's made in california or just made in the usa that can also sometimes be an indicator of quality and then when I looked at the inside tag, I figured that it was something pretty expensive because it says body 80% organic cotton and the trim is also organic cotton, handmade in the USA under fair labor conditions. So all of that kind of tipped me off that it was something pretty good and also just the style of it. It's a high-low a slouchy top with this exaggerated cowl neck which you can actually unsnap you can wear it fully snapped for a full cowl neck or you can just do kind of like a split and have it drape in front if that makes sense so I thought that was really interesting not really a neckline that you see every day with all of those snaps you kind of have the inverse seams there. So yeah, I think this will do really well. I'm probably going to list it for around 40-ish dollars. Size extra small. Definitely oversized. Okay, next up we have another one of my absolute favorite finds. My jaw dropped when I was flipping through the rack and saw this. It is from Anthropology. It's new with tags. My nails, I'm going to get them done tomorrow, so please excuse my nails. But this is brand new. It's originally $180, size 10. It is a newer item from Anthropology, so this was in stores not that long ago. It's a gorgeous printed maxi dress like a patchwork kind of print with a ruffle bottom hem this dress is so pretty it's fully lined and then it has a cutout in back it zips on the side and it does have pockets so we love that I cannot believe I found this new with tags for $2.25. That's just mind-blowing. That is why I get there at 7 a.m. If you're not there at 7 a.m., you miss out on crazy finds like that. These are super cute. These are Sundance. This is also a newer tag from them. It's that turquoise kind of color, size medium. How cute are these? They're a printed pant with, it's like a, almost like a paisley botanical print. It's like a faux paper bag waist look with this tie. It is an elastic waist. They have some like cargo style pockets and then a mismatched print at the bottom hem. So super cute, just like a casual comfy kind of pant that you could dress up with some like gold flats and a cream top. Next up, we have American Apparel. This is just a basic v-neck sleeveless black mini dress, but I usually always pick up 
even basics from American Apparel because people look for them, they know their quality, they know that they're flattering, and they sell really well. So, you know, especially if I'm at the outlets, I do pick up even the most basic pieces of American Apparel that I find, which I don't do with every brand. I don't do with Madewell or even Free People. Well, I would say more Free People than Madewell, but definitely American Apparel. Okay, next we have Talbots. These are the Chelsea Crop, and the reason I grabbed these was because they were a size 16. They're 100% linen, they look brand new, and they have some really cute details to them, like these buttons at the sides. They're also a very kind of classic, contemporary fit with the wide cropped leg. Nice neutral color, had nothing wrong with them, and you know, they were a great size. Little bodysuit from Good American. This is a size zero. This brand is Khloe Kardashian's brand and it is pretty popular. Their jeans sell well. I probably won't expect more than 25-ish from this. These shoulders have padding. Just a nice, again, kind of closet staple there. This was really pretty. J. Jill, size medium. It's like a pretty heavy knit sweater coat, long line sweater coat jacket with a fuzzy kind of eyelash texture to it. Love this minimalist kind of plaid print, has pockets at the hips, and this thing looks brand new. It has zero signs of wear, so yeah, that was a solid find for sure. That was probably like at least a hundred dollars originally from J. Jill. Okay, so this brand I used to sell in the juniors department at Nordstrom, Lily Rose. So the retail is definitely not too high on it. I would guess like 40 to 55 ish, but it was a size one X. It has a very boho print, cute details like a button front and some ruffles, and it is a romper cut. So for all of those reasons, I had to go ahead and grab it. I think this will sell probably around 28-ish. Rompers are really popular for me. Next up, we have an activewear piece. This is Zaya. This brand is pretty hit or miss. Some items I feel like will sell very quickly and then other ones will just sit forever. I don't know how this one will do. It's a size medium. It's just like a neon colored tank top that says brighter. So, we will see about this. I just grabbed it. I think it's cute. Workout stuff will start flying out of our closets um, come January when people have their workout resolutions. So if you're gonna, if you have a lot of activewear to list, go ahead and start photographing it. Make sure you get it up by January. Next we have Chico size three, which is equivalent to a size extra large. I love the vibrant print on this. It's kind of like an eye cap print. It's their no iron line and it's 100% linen. So I like selling that combo. A lot of people love linen and a lot of people do not like ironing. So I think they personally kind of seek this stuff out. It also buttons down the back, which I thought was adorable. And with this being a size XL, that's you know, another plus. If this had been a Chico size zero, I might have left it. Just because the larger sizes definitely do perform better. Love Stitch, size large. I do like uh, picking up this brand as like a bread and butter kind of bundle type uh, brand in my closet because, you know, it does sell, not for a lot, but usually pretty quickly. So I like getting little basic boho style tops like that. Current Elliott size zero, which is extra small. This is 100% linen. Graphic t-shirt just says Venice Beach. Has a lot of kind of casual details to it like distressing around the collar and some rolled sleeves, high-low hem. New at tags, Lane Bryant, size 20, $60 originally. Here's the Lane Bryant tag. This is a newer tag from Lane Bryant. The font just looks a little bit different 
It's nothing crazy. I'll try to add in a picture of the older Lane Bryant tag. But I thought this was so cute. Again, very boho. I love the print to it. This store, I love shopping because they have such a good plus size section. And I never really see people shopping there. So, you know, I'm happy to go in, find some stuff, and post it online for, you know, people to find just because I feel like plus size is kind of underrepresented online. Um, and the store always has a ton of it and a lot of it is new attack. So I love this. It has elastic at the sleeves and I just really like that cut and print. One of my favorite brands to sell. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love soft surroundings. It's just definitely a reliable seller. I know that when I list it, it is going to sell and that it's going to sell relatively quickly. So this is a size large turtleneck tunic sweater. Definitely long line, it covers the bum. This would be so cute with just some black leggings and riding boots. It's a high-low hemline and it does have side vents. And this was really nice because of the fabric content. It's cotton, polyamide, wool, and 3% cashmere. So very soft, this will keep you warm. This had no pilling, no stains. It looks brand new. Next we have Beach Lunch Lounge, kind of like Love Stitch. This is another brand that I like to keep in stock for people to bundle with. It's definitely bread and butter. These are a size XXL. They're a linen blend, pull on pant, wide leg, wide cropped leg with the elastic drawstring waist, very beachy, very boho. Okay, so going back to the Signature Soft fabric from Lou and Gray, this is that 96% uh, rayon, 4% spandex, size large maxi dress. So this will probably sell for around $30. I have sold every single piece of Signature Soft fabric, Lou and Gray stuff that I have ever listed. It usually sells really quickly. I think just because it is so incredibly comfortable and soft. Speaking of, we have the ultimate loungewear brand, Barefoot Dreams. And this is the Cozy Chic Light piece in a size large, extra large. It's a dark brown circle cardigan. This also has no signs of wear. This has already sold for $45. It has pockets. It's a little bit longer length. And the lapels are ripped. So this is great to, you know, wear around the house or just throw on when you're running errands. It's incredibly soft. Heartloom. Um, I have only recently heard about this brand. I believe I heard about it from Jack and Ryan. Um, I don't find it too often, but I thought this was cute. It's like a little leopard button up top. It's kind of like a pajama style, which has been trendy with the bloggers, you know, looking like you're wearing pajamas. <laughs> so I figured I'd just give it a go, see how it does. It's a size small. This is yet another one of my absolute favorite bread and butter brands, Logo by Lori Goldstein. Um, I exclusively pick up size, I would say size large and up, but I prefer extra large and plus size. This is a 1X petite and it is a dress. I don't think I've ever actually sold a dress from this brand. It's like a slub cotton body and then the bottom hem, which is like a handkerchief or asymmetric bottom hem, is a contrasting uh, cotton material. So this is just like smooth cotton and this is more of a slub cotton. Um, so really pretty. This would be so cute with a denim jacket over top going into springtime. Weston. This brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology. This particular piece was. It's called the Amaya dress in a size small petite. It's like a tank dress. Again with that kind of handkerchief asymmetric hemline 
kind of like a patchwork striped print. And this is in the really soft and comfy stretch jersey knit, which I usually do put that in the, uh, definitely the description and sometimes the title if I have enough characters, but it's basically just a rayon and spandex blend. Talbot, size extra large. I have still been loving my more mature brands, Talbot, Chico's, Soft Surroundings. They have been selling just as well or better for me than, you know, Free People, Anthropology, Madewell. This is just a great kind of closet staple cardigan, button up cardigan, a little bit of a high low hem and a really soft kind of thick knit in a really pretty blue color. A for sure bolo here, Marine Lair. Um, this brand has kind of recently, more recently come on my radar within the last year, I would say. They have a lot of like contemporary, uh, minimalist kind of closet staple items. And these pants are no exception. These are called the Allison pants. And I think these are one of their most popular styles of pants that they sell. They have an interesting little hem there. They retail for over $100. I love the window pane grid print. I'll expect at least $50 from these because they have no signs of wear. Next we have Billabong. Another brand that does really well for me within that kind of bread and butter category, size medium, very boho printed tunic. It's a button down tunic with a slight bell sleeve and kind of a paisley print to it. Kind of sheer. You could, you know, wear that to the beach or not. You could just wear it out. Very cute. Next, we have a vintage Christian Dior sweater. I sold a couple of these. They are technically men's sweaters, but I do list them in my women's closet just because, you know, they're definitely unisex. It's kind of like the perfect slouchy sweater. And then you do have the Dior logo embroidered at the chest, which, you know, people do like. Anytime you have a designer item and there is some type of logo anywhere that always kind of ups the value a little bit. Um, and this has actually also already sold for $38. I've sold several of these vintage like sweaters exactly like this in the past. And I would say they sell around that same kind of price point. More free people. This is a little slip dress from their intimately line size small. And some of these slip dresses can do really well. I think this is maybe one of those. I didn't see too many active listings for this exact style, so that's always a good sign. It has a square neckline, really pretty floral print, and then a little waist tie. A pair of shorts from Anthropology. I do list shorts year round. These are from the brand Pilcro, and this is Pilcro's newest tag. They've just kind of done away with the, it used to be Pilcro and the letterpress, and they have done away with that. It's now just Pilcro. Um, but yeah, I thought these were too adorable to leave. They have a striped print and then a contrasting gingham checkered print at the rolled up bottom hems. They are a size 27, excellent condition. Next is, oh yeah, this is um, a 41 Hawthorne. It's mixed by 41 Hawthorne and this is from Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is a clothing subscription service. People really like it. You know, you order clothes, they come to your home. And if you like them, you keep them, you buy them. And if not, I think you get a discount if you keep everything in the box. So some people might do that if they like like two out of the three items and then maybe they just donate the third or, you know, maybe they just decided later on that they didn't like the item and so they donate it. But I do find a lot of Stitch Fix pieces at the thrift stores and they always sell really well for me because 
people might get them in their box and you know not want to pay the full stitch fix price so they'll go online and search out that piece or you know maybe they got it in their box and they really liked it so they want to duplicate either way it's just an avenue for people to know the exact style name of a piece um, and so it's very easy to search on the secondhand market so that's why I do like to pick it up but this is a really cute like strappy size 1x maxi dress it has a defined waist with elastic and it is maxi length with side slits yet again it is that incredibly soft jersey knit 95% rayon 5% spandex the upper portion is lined and yeah, this looks brand new. So I'll expect probably 30 to 35 ish from that. Lily Pulitzer little tank top. This is pretty basic, but I did get it because it is 100% silk. So that does elevate it. It's a size medium. If this had been 100% polyester, I would have left it. But with it being silk, I figured it retailed for probably over $100. And it'll sell, I would say, 25 ish. We have more Chico's, also in a size 3, which is extra large. This has so much going for it. The size is good. The very boho, like, sand and sky uh, colorway is really pretty. Love the print. It's 100% linen. It's a tunic length, which people like. Buttons all the way down in front. And it's flawless. So pretty much every feature to this makes it more marketable. This will probably sell, I would say, 35 to 40-ish. We have Eileen Fisher, size small, just a basic kind of loose knit sweater. Would be really cute to layer over just like a white or cream tank top. I try to stick to size large and up in Eileen Fisher. However, this was a linen blend and I think this is a little bit of a newer piece, so I didn't want to leave that behind. Next we have New Tags Urban Renewal, which is sold through Urban Outfitters. Within this line, they take vintage garments or older pieces and they rework them into new items and sell them. Yeah, reworked vintage pieces, dead stock fabrics, and one-of-a-kind finds. So, they were originally $49, and they are a size small. They're this really comfy, elastic waist pull-on legging pant. They're, they almost feel like a legging, and they have a flare leg. This style of pant has been very popular with the younger crowd, so I will add like 90s Y2K into the listing um, because they are kind of that style. Okay, this is another brand to be on the lookout for, St. James. This top retailed for around 115, maybe 125-ish dollars. It is their heavyweight cotton material um, and it's just incredible quality. This, I wish you guys could feel this. It almost feels like a St. John knit, which if you know St. John, their items cost like $500 to $1,200 each. Um, it kind of feels like that Santana knit, but I think it's like a spun cotton. I forget what it's called, but I mean, the quality is just incredible and... Um, it's just a gorgeous kind of basic closet staple. So I will list this. Actually, this is listed, and I want to say I listed it for around 40-ish dollars. More new tags. We're coming down to our last couple pieces here. This one is Maeve from Anthropology. This dress is a little bit dated, but I still thought it was super cute, so I got it. I couldn't leave it with it being new with tags. It buttons all the way down the front and then has some pockets. Loved the kind of electric blue color. This is the older tag from May. That was another reason that I figured it was a little bit dated, but that's okay, honestly. Um, honestly, some anthropology pieces that are dated and more kind of quirky and vintage looking sell better than the more modern pieces. Okay, our very last piece is Talbot's Petite, size 14 Petite. 
and it is a midi dress. I think you guys know what the Talbot's tag looks like, but it's a floral printed midi dress. It buttons all the way down in front and it does still have the waist tie. Very flattering. So I'll expect probably 28-ish from this. And that is absolutely everything for this huge haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I should have a ship with me video coming out very soon. I am, I know I feel like a broken record, but I am trying to get back to being more consistent on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.